Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today I'm going to share my success story. How did I change my career from non-ID background to IT background? Yes, and that too into the field of software testing. Now, many of you might not be aware about, you know, my career, my experience, and how was my career journey till now, right? So let me share that success story with you. And yes, if you like it, please, uh, you know, do like, share, and comment on this video. But before that, uh, I would request each and every one of you to please like, share, and subscribe our channel. Right. So let's move to the agenda. So today's agenda is we are going to see my success story. So as many of you might not be aware, I have I had completed, you know, Bachelor of Engineering in Electrical and Electronic Stream in 2010. So in 2010, once I completed my graduation, I was looking for a job. And yes, I was looking for an, a job in the electrical stream. So I used to apply in many companies and there was a time when I used to go literally go and, uh, you know, appear before the interviews and before the hiring managers. And I used to uh, meet them in person. I used to get some references from a few of my friends, well-wishers and used to apply in the company. But it was not so easy because I was a fresher in 2010, right? So uh, we all know. As a fresher, you have to apply in many companies. But last, uh, lastly, I got one of the job in one of the electrical company, right? Where pay scale was very less, but still I joined because, you know, I thought like this, uh, this might be uh, one of the ladder of my uh, success in my career, right? So I joined that company and uh, I also got an opportunity to work on site in Siemens, Mumbai. So uh, Siemens is located in Kalwa. So I went over there and I worked for almost uh, two to three months. Oh, after working with transformers and uh, working in this, this big giant electrical company, you know, I was not confident and somehow I felt that it was not my cup of tea. So I left that electrical job within six months. Yes, within six months, I left that job. In the seventh month, I joined Colabra where I got a role of technical recruiter. Now you can see the shift in my career. I completed electrical graduation, you know, graduation in electrical stream. Then I joined as a technical recruiter in Colabra and over there it was a night shift. So the timings were pretty odd, 6 p.m. IST to 4 a.m. IST, right? And the sometimes the workload was so much, the calling uh, used to happen till 6 a.m. as well. Right. So again, it was very difficult. Somehow I managed for three to four months. But then in the fifth month, I made up my mind that I won't be able to, you know, uh, survive in this job for for much longer duration of time. Okay. So again, then I thought to switch the job. And this was within 10 to 11 months after completing my graduation. I I gave up this job as well, right? I looked for the third job. Now my interest, my passion went for the software testing field, right? I was looking for a job in software testing. So I applied in companies. I made some modifications in my resume. And in the modification, I just wrote that I am looking for a job in software testing. I didn't modify any of the skill set or any such things because I was not having any sort of idea or, you know, like any sort of guidance I had or any sort of support I got at that time. So I was literally looking for a job in software testing. And one final day, I got a call from one of the IT company, which was uh, local to Vadodara, Gujarat itself. And over there, I went for an interview and it was a manual testing role. But yes, prior to that, I completed, uh, you know, reading software testing blogs and I completed a course on software testing as well, which was for three months. And that was the time when Windrunner was in demand. So I learned Windrunner as well with the software testing. So software testing, Windrunner, and the course also consisted of how to write test cases, how to develop test scenarios, right? So those things I learned over there. Then I went for the interview. It was the very first interview of software testing for the software testing field in my career. 
Okay, so I got some um, pretty simple questions like the difference between load testing and stress testing, types of testing. Then uh, how would you test some particular object if you get, how would you test some particular application, right? What is the difference between smoke testing and sanitary testing, the defect related examples, severity, priority, exact questions I am not able to recall because it was in uh, 2011. So that was my first company into the IT field where I actually started my IT job in 2011, right? So once I started that job, I continued working over there for two years. Then I had to, uh, you know, learn automation because the automation was in demand. Selenium web driver was in demand, but I didn't have any knowledge on Java, right? And at the same time, I was also looking for some sort of certification. So I did ISTQB foundation level certification. So I scored almost 82% of marks. So I was able to score somewhere around 32, 33 out of 40, right? And that was the certification that I did at that time. It was again an online certification, same like today. And 40 questions were there. Out of that, 26 was the uh, passing marks. So that was the certification that I did. And then I started looking for job, right? I, I was looking for one more, you know, job with better salary, better prospects. So I applied in the company of Automation Anywhere, which is an RPA based company. Over there, I was able to crack the interview. I was asked questions on SQL database testing and normal testing, manual testing. All these questions were asked, right? So over there, once I appeared for the interview, I was able to crack that interview and I started working in automation anywhere for the manual testing role. Then slowly and gradually while doing manual testing on weekends, Saturday and Sunday, what did I do is I started learning Java. I started learning automation testing. Then I shift, I went and approached the team members over there, team leads, managers, and I requested them to uh, help me with the automation kind of task, automation kind of roles and responsibilities. Then I got a role in which I got an opportunity to do automation testing. I got an opportunity to, to develop Selenium framework and work on existing Selenium framework and do manual testing as well parallelly. So in a nutshell, I got an exposure towards automation testing as well. Then after seven years of job in automation anywhere, around 2020, uh, I shifted my career to one more, another company, right? So this is how my career was. You can see there were, it was full of roller, roller coaster, right? Right. I started as a non-IT person. I, I was, I completed non-IT, you know, graduation of electrical stream, but slowly and gradually after a couple of jobs, I came to know, you know, it was not my cup of tea. So I took a decision and I simply moved on. So this is how you people also have to do right? There is nothing is impossible in this world. Even impossible says I am possible, right? So what is the thing that is stopping you? Every day you should learn, you should apply in the companies, you should update your resume. Whenever you are applying in any company, make sure you change your resume as per the skill set, as per the uh, job description, and then you apply in that company. And also try if you get reference. Even there was an instance when I used to, you know, take my two wheeler and I used to call people for reference and I used to uh, literally apply in the companies. I used to take names of XYZ per person that yes, I'm having reference of this person. So please give me this job. So that was one of the instance, right? But see, by God's grace today, everything is so good. Right? So things are going to be positive. You don't need to be demotivated. You don't need to be disheartened at all. So don't lose you hope at all keep upgrading yourself this is just a beginning this is just a start at the beginning you might think you might feel that things are not moving in your direction things are not happening as the way you want but trust me even 0.5 percent of change one percent of change even if you are able to learn one concept or two concept daily new or 
already, which is a part of software testing, then I'm sure you are making positive moves towards your career. So thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates. And yes, uh, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.